and in this video, I'd like to show you how to map over data by writing JavaScript in AppSmith. This is really useful if you like to perform transformations or do calculations on the data. And we're going to be using the built-in array map method in JavaScript to do this. So right here on the page, you can see I have a simple store application that displays products from the get product API, which is a simple API that gets products. And right here, we are displaying that data by binding it to the table widget. And taking a look at the columns I have on the table, I have an ID, I have a price, I have a title, I have a description, category, and an image. So what if I want to perform a transformation and add a 20% tax to the price of each item. How do I do that? So we can do that easily by using the JavaScript map method. And since the data returned by the API is an array, which you can see right here in the evaluated value pane, I can easily map over this data and perform some transformations on it. So to do that, I will just type dot map and then start writing the code that would perform such transformation, which in this case, we want to add a tax of 20% to the price of each item. So the first parameter will be each item entry we want to manipulate. So let's call this item. And then we want to return an object because each item is actually an object. We want to return an object. And then we would like to spread the previous properties of each item by using the spread operator. So this is going to be dot, dot, dot item. And we can see that we have essentially returned the same um, data to the table widget. But at this point, what we want to do is to um, add the tax for each price. So we are going to return a new property. Let's call this price. And what we want to do is to return the item dot price. But we want to add a tax of 20%. So let's add that. So this is going to be 0 0.20 times item dot price. And taking a look at the table, you can see that each item has been increased by a 20% tax. And you can see that shown up right here on the table. So we can close this and um, going back to the table widget, we can see that that has been applied. The cool thing with this is that we can expand this and even add new properties that are not returned in each item. So for example, we can return a new property called discount. And we can say a discount of 10%. And you can see that the discount has been returned because now we have a new column called discount. Let's move this right here so that it will be visible on the table. And you can see that a discount of 10% has been generated for each item in the data. So this is how you can map over data by writing JavaScript in AppSmith. I'll be leaving a link in the description to the map reference method just in case you'd like to learn more. All right, that'll be all for now. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.